Freedom 5 raised $9.5 million via a Series A funding round led by Blue Yard Capital. Two other major investors include two telco giants you may have heard of, Samsung and Qualcomm. This funding round for Freedom 5 is expected to help accelerate the development of its software and forge new partnerships with telco equipment manufacturers. Having these new major telcos on board with Freedom 5's vision for their 5G small cells will undoubtedly prove fruitful as these major telcos have a deep understanding of the space and have incredible resources at their disposal. Blue Yard Capital is also an incredible partner to have as the founders have previous experience rolling out Facebook's magma based. 5G networks. Apart from the funding, the synergies here are incredible and prove that the incentive-based model for rolling out these networks is not only catching the eyes of major telcos, but they are jumping right in. This is incredible news for the Helium community, and there are a few different articles that cover some of the most important parts of this newly minted partnership. Let's take a look at the details in today's video. <music> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Guys, today's video, we are gonna be talking about the breaking news that was just released midday yesterday. Tremendous news regarding two major telcos backing FreedomFi, which is the manufacturer of Helium's first 5G hotspot. As you can see here, this was the major news article that was going around yesterday. However, there are two others, one of which is from Blue Yard Capital's very own website, which we can see here, and another one from lightreading.com, which also goes through a lot of other very important pieces of this partnership. We will go through all of those today. As we can see here, here is Freedom Fi's landing page for their 5G hotspot. As we know, they have been shipping these out as fast as possible. The wait list is currently closed right now. However, these are being rolled out. I believe half of them are already actually deployed. So this is huge, huge news. And as we know earlier, and as we know, mid to late last year, Dish Network actually agreed to roam on the 5G network, which is absolutely tremendous. We know that Dish has approximately 9 million subscribers that will be roaming on that network. Really, really good. So as we can see here, Freedom5 raises $9.5 million in a Series A to scale its decentralized network with Helium and trim the price of 5G gateway hardware. Now, of course, this article, the Decrypt article, the most popular one that was circulating Twitter yesterday, is really clear and straight to the point. Basically, Freedom Fight raised $9.5 million. Samsung and Qualcomm Venture Arms are among the two biggest partners. Now, the article references Helium's existing network and how the 5G network will have to handle significantly more data for smart devices, and the hardware needed to join the network is likewise much more expensive. They go on to explain how these bundles are approximately $2,500 all in between the gateway and the 5G small cell. As mentioned up here, it appears that some of this funding will go to actually trim the price of these bundles. They also make reference that the launch, that since the launch of this hardware in October, FreedomFi has sold about 10,000 and about half are currently up and running on Helium's nascent 5G network. So they are making it clear that this 5G network of Helium's is still in its very, very early in development stages. And this funding and these partnerships, of course, are going to help scale and develop this network far faster than it would have otherwise. Now they also make a clear distinction between the $2,500 that Freedom 5's 5G small cell deployments currently cost with the cellular carriers, which cost around $28,000 each. And interestingly enough, that data comes from Qualcomm, which was one of the investors in this Series A funding round. Now the CEO of Freedom 5 goes on to say, we wanna cut out the middlemen and simplify the process such that anybody on the Helium network can for $500 get a cellular miner, plug it in and make it work. Incredible, incredible news to hear directly from the Freedom Fi CEO who now has these incredible partnerships with two of the major telcos in the space. Now this article has a lot more very interesting, very cool information. I will link this as well as all the other articles down in the description below. However, I do want to jump over here to Blue Yard's website before we get into the Freedom Fi article. Now if we jump over here to Blue Yard's website, which happens to be an extraordinarily cool 
cool website. Blue Yard backs founders at the earliest stages, building the interconnected elements that can become the fabric of our future is what they claim to do. And as we can see, they are involved in a lot of different things from programmable biology, science, web three, computing and engineering, as well as liberated knowledge and data. However, the most interesting thing here actually comes from the updates page. It's sort of a medium blog here. And of course, they do have a Freedom Fi update. It goes a little bit into how the founders here actually have previous experience working with Facebook's Magma to help mobile companies standardize their CBRS implementations using commodity hardware and cut out proprietary vendors like Nokia and Ericsson. So these guys have a lot of experience with these types of networks and technologies. As we can see down here, they elaborate a little bit further in how they got involved with Freedom Fi and some of the key details here with regards to Freedom Fi, some of which being how they have shipped already 10,000 gateways in 2022. They also don't fail to mention how Freedom Fi has reached a roaming agreement with Dish Mobile, which has 9 million subscribers in the US. This allows Dish Mobile subscribers to seamlessly roam on Freedom Fi's network. So these guys clearly see the value in the Dish Mobile partnership. They go on to even further elaborate on their thesis. Freedom Fi's technology provides a way to re-architect the telecom industry to be more decentralized and less expensive. In the future, anyone using a Freedom Fi gateway will be able to set up their own 5G cell tower and make passive income while also providing cellular coverage in their area. These are really, really bold statements coming from a company that clearly has deep-seated knowledge in this space, and we should really be excited about the type of synergies and resources Blue Yard Capital can provide provide here for Freedom Fi. Now, lastly, lightreading.com also has an article here with regards to Freedom Fi raising the $9.5 million. Now, this article largely says a lot of the same things as the previous articles. However, this article does touch on Biocells, which is one of the top small cell manufacturers. Freedom Fi has established a partnership with Biocells small cell products for plug and play compatibility with Freedom Fi software. So this goes to show the extent at which Freedom Fi is really digging in to the 5G community, to these 5G networks, and are establishing these partnerships that are going to shape the future of how 5G is rolled out here on the Helium network. Now, if prior to this, we didn't think these other major telcos were gonna get involved in some way, we certainly know that now, and I would not be surprised to hear the other major telcos get involved in some way, whether it's direct roaming such as Dish or the way Samsung and Qualcomm are doing it here. This is incredible news for Helium. I am super, super excited about the future of this 5G rollout. Freedom Fi here clearly leading the charge. Now down below, they even mentioned the recent announcement of a deal with Bobcat. They referenced them as the number one manufacturer of Helium compatible wireless hotspots. That will be another video that is also huge news that dropped just recently. So we will have another video outlining all of that information. Stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest Helium and HNT news and analysis. Guys, I hope this was helpful. I'll link all of these down below. Please let me know any of your questions or concerns here, but just know I am super excited about the future and how these partnerships are going to shape it. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, but just like that, this video is over and I will see you next.